Hey guys, it's Cobb here. Um, today is going to be a nice easy day. We're just going to be looking at a couple of uh, different warm-up exercises um, that utilize chromatics and a little bit of atonal structure. Um, nice and easy, just a good way to warm up your fingers. Uh, here we go. The first exercise I'm going to show you is just a nice and easy warm-up for your fingers. Um, nothing special. What you're going to do is start with your first four fingers on the first four frets on the E string, B string if you like. Um, going to play those four notes as eighth notes or sixteenth notes. Um, you're going to go up to the A string and play on the second fret, third fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string. sixth on the E. Continue forward, you're going to go back down to the B and start on the seventh. G on the eighth. Ninth on the D. Tenth on the A. And eleventh on the E. So you should end on the fourteenth there, the F sharp um, on the E string. And then you're just going to reverse it. 14, 13, 12, 11, 13, 12, 11, 10 on the A string, D on the 12th, 11th on the G, 10th on the B, and, uh, 9th on the E, um, and then continue back down. Uh, you just start at the 9th, so you'll go 8th on the B, 7th on the G, 6th on the D, 5th on the A, end up back where you started on the F at the very beginning. Here it is to the metronome. I'm playing 16th notes at 72 beats per minute. Um, as I said before, you can play 8th notes if you need. Um, don't have to take it very pass fast. This is just a warm-up pace. This next exercise is similar to the previous one in that it uses chromatics. Um, it's a little bit different. This one is more of a finger um, independence workout. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to start the same way on the first four frets of the E string. But when you go up to the A string, you're going to stay on the same frets and you're going to start on your second finger. You'll play two, three, four, one. And then on the D string, you'll continue down. Three, four, one, two. Then on the G string, you'll have four, one, two, three. And then you reset. On the E string, two, three, four, one. Then you're going to come up with fret. This is where it gets a little tricky. Um, and you'll play three, four, one, two. On the B string, four, one, two, three. Set, you're back to one, two, three, four on the E string, two, three, four, one on the A, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, up a fret, three, four, one, two, down a string, four, one, two, three, down a string, one, two.
take that as far up the fretboard as you feel you need to go until your fingers are adequately warmed up. Where the previous exercise was just to get the blood flowing through your fingers a little bit, this one is actually about in independence of your fingers. So it's important that you practice it um, again as slow as you need to and make sure that you're playing it properly without error. Um, yes, it is just a warm up, but it serves that function as well. So um, I'm going to be playing at the same tempo, 72 beats per minute, but I'm going to be playing at the 8th note instead of the 16th note. So that's the second exercise, um, now let's move on to the third one. So this exercise is taken from John Petrucci's Rock Discipline. Um, it works on your finger flexibility. What you're going to do, um, I believe he starts on the 17th fret, I'm going to start on the 12th fret. Um, so what you'll do is you'll place your index finger on the first fret there. Your second finger will be on the second string, one fret above, in this case 13. Um, third finger likewise, 14th on the G string, and then pinky 15th on the B. Um, so now you're going to pick through these. Then you're going to switch your inside two fingers. They stay on the same frets, but you switch strings. So you'll now have 12, 14, 13, 15. And then you'll switch your outside two fingers. 15, 14, 13, 12, and then your inside two fingers again. 15, 13, 14, 12. Um, and then you'll reset and you'll move your index finger down a fret. 11, 13, 14, 15. Switch your inside two. 11, 14, 13, 15. Outside. 15, 14, 13, 11. And inside again. 15, 13, 14, 11, then you'll reset and you'll move your pinky out one to the 16th, 11, 13, 14, 16, switch your inside two, 11, 14, 13, 16, switch your outside two, 16, 14, 13, 11, and your inside two one more time, 16, 13, 14, Another variation would be to do this with a fret in between each finger. With the exercise, basically every time you complete a sequence, you're going to stretch one more finger out until you can no longer stretch. Um, another way of doing it would be to start two frets apart. So you would have 12, 14, 16, 18, then swap your inside two, 12, 16, 14, 18, outside, 18, 16, 14, 12, and then again, um, inside fingers, 18, 14, 16, 12. Um, if you do that, you're probably not going to stretch very far. Um, so there it is. So that wraps up this lesson. Um, not much to say, I think it was a nice, easy sort of lesson. The first two warm-ups, make sure you practice with the metronome. The third one, if you can. If you can't, not that big a deal. Make sure your fingers are on the right frets and that each note is coming out clearly on that one. That's more important than playing it in time. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but my cat is calling me, so that's my cue to go. Uh, always practice with the metronome. Have fun playing, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.